All right, I think we're we're finally good to go now. So let us do some retro roulette. Get my controller out. So we haven't done this in a while. Uh, let me just finish doing something here. Okay, we're all set to go now. All right, all right. So retro roulette. Like I said, we haven't done this for quite a while, actually. Like I think a few months. When did I get my new graphics card? Because that was the last time I I did this. So like, give or take two months ago, I think. Can't believe I've had my GPU, like my new GPU for that long already. But yeah, um, if you haven't seen this before, basically what this is, is I pick up, I basically play a game that this program randomly picks for me. So we're going to do that for the next couple hours. I'll play like five to ten minutes of each, maybe a bit longer, depending on if it keeps me interested for a while. But we'll try and do like a big variety of games tonight because I haven't done this for a while. This is kind of like, I don't know, it's something I do very rarely as an occasional thing. It's a fun thing to come back to every now and again. So with that said, the first game of tonight is going to be Cliffhanger. That's funny. Cliffhangers are usually at the end of the stream, not the start. Okay then. So let's see what this is all about. I still need to make like a border for NES games. I haven't done that yet. Too fucking lazy. Maybe I'll get that there, here for next time, but yeah. Cliffhanger, is this like a bootleg game? Doesn't look like an official game. A treasury jet loaded with a hundred million dollars is headed for San Francisco. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. Evil terrorist Quellen and his band of henchmen pull alongside the treasury jet. Travers, a renegade treasury agent, prepares to transfer the money between the two planes. Okay. But an FBI agent at the treasury jet shoots the Quellen's plane, damaging the controls. This is like a award winning story here. The plane crashes into the high crags of the Rocky Mountains, the terrorists survive, and send out a, f a fake Mayday message. Which is picked up at the local ranger station. Gabe and Howe, veteran rescue climbers, go off in search of the hikers. Oh god. Holy shit. Does anyone know if this is a real game or is this like a bootleg? Because I honestly cannot tell. Also, your first enemy in the game is snow coming down a, a, a roof. That's good. Can I go in here? No. Okay, so first of all, the frame rate. I mean, the, the music is like god awful as well, but um, in terms of what I'm looking at, the frame rate is really fucking bad, and the input latency is just as bad. What the? Well, th this is certainly a promising start to the night's retro roulette. For fuck's sake. I'm gonna test something. Guys? There are two jump buttons. This jump button... Wait, wait a minute, hang on. Oh, never mind, I don't have two jump buttons. Uh, it turns out my binding wasn't correct, but I figured out why it was. Anyway, yeah, here's my punch, here's my jump. So... Let me break it down for you. The reason my jump wasn't working the first time, like why I wasn't jumping as high, is because I was holding the A button that's like Turbo A, so I wasn't like, you know, holding the A all the way down. Oh, come on! Even when I use the correct button, it's like a tight as fuck jump. Oh shit, we can jump kick? Right, okay, we're gonna punch the dog now. Can I run? No, I cannot run. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh boy, what a promising start to the night this is. For the Retro Roulette segment. That is a very... <laughs> that's a very unforgiving first major jump that you have to make to advance the game. Oh. 
Wait a minute, do I have other things? I see I've got a fist in the bottom right corner there, but the select button does nothing. I guess once I get other pieces of equipment or weapons or something, I can use, like, select to, like, swap it out. Ah, oh, I saw boots there. Wow, this, this game is a hot mess. See, after I'm done checking this out, I'm gonna have to quickly check up if this is a legit game or not. Like, surely not. Surely this can't be a fucking, like, game they actually released in, like, a store that you can pay for. Like, surely not, right? And if it turns out it is a real game, then I guess I found, like, James Rolfe's next episode. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, is this based on a movie, uh, license? Is... who is this? It looks like a celebrity, but I can't tell. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look right now. Hang on. Cliffhanger NES. Is this a legit game, or is this a bootleg? Cliffhanger video game. Cliffhanger is a beat-em-up platform game that was released on October 17th, 1993, based on the film of the same name. Oh my god, guys. This is real. This is a real video game. This came out after Super Mario World, by the way. Like, two years after Super Mario World, I think. Two or three years. Jesus. Uh, let me get the box art for you. Hang on a second. I'm gonna show you what this box art looks like, because the box art itself is interesting. So, I don't know anything about the movie Cliffhanger. I've never seen it. I'm not much of a movie person. But here's what the box art looks like. Who is this? Is this Sylvester Stallone? I'm, I'm not even sure, to be honest with you. But yeah, this is a legit game. I'm gonna... hang on. Cliffhanger NES back of box. We need to, like, look at the back of this fucking package. While I get this, I'm just gonna keep this up on screen for now while I just look for that. Okay, I think I found it. One moment, please. Just gonna quickly grab. Okay, here we go. Right, save image. Right, check this out. Here is the back of the packaging. Based on the White Knuckle action adventure movie starring Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, that's who it is. Cliffhanger challenges you to brave thundering avalanches, icy cliffs on the head spinning heights of the. Rocky Mount- I have Rocky. Get it? Because he's Sylvester Stallone! But yeah, the Rocky Mountains will you combat a vicious- You know what? I can barely read this at this size. Let me zoom in a little bit before I read the rest of this blurb. Oh, if I can grab on the edge there. Right, okay. So, where was I? Okay, so we're on the Rocky Mountains. Will you combat a vicious group of well-armed, extremely dangerous fugitives? You'll hang on for dear life through seven exciting levels requiring you all of your strength and skill just to survive. Experience wild new forms of <laughs> wild new forms of gameplay, everyone. Like mountain climbing and cave exploration. You know, two things that you know already exist in like ice climbers and the Legend of Zelda respectively. Uh along with all new ex along with all the excitement of incredible hand-to-hand. -hand. <laughs> Wait, seriously? That shitty punch that I used is incredibly exciting hand-to-hand -hand armed combat? Okay then. The adventure isn't over until you find 100 million dollars in stolen loot. Defeat the fugitives and reunite with your friends. <laughs> you can tell the person who wrote that was really trying to sell you on this game. I, I just love this fucking... This is definitely going on the thumbnail, this sad Sylvester Stallone image. This has to go there somewhere. Speaking of dollars, it seems like my score is actually in dollar value, so I earn $240. We'll do one more set of lives and then I'm gonna do another game. Let's see if I can get a little bit further this time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there, like, two snow mounds on that rift the last time? God, this... I'd like to reiterate that this game came out after Super Mario World, by the way. Oh, there's, like, slight coyote time going on here. Right, I see. That makes it a little bit easier to cross the gap. Speaking of coyote time, I'm punching a coyote. I think. 
Yeah, exciting hand-to-hand -hand combat. Let's go. <laughs> so apparently I'm playing as Sylvester Stallone. Looks nothing like him. It looks more like Peter Pan. How do I use the boots? How do these work? Do I grab the rope? No? I don't quite understand what's going on here. Hang on. What do you mean? I'm gonna figure this shit out, or at least I'll try to. Oh yeah, there was two snow mounds there the last time. Either it didn't sh spawn one of them that time, or it's randomised. Good job. Well, let me tell you something. We're starting with a fucking... We're, we're starting with the winner tonight. An all-time classic video game that should be preserved for all time. Oh, god damn it. I'm just gonna use the rewind to get out of that right now. Like, I, don't, I don't feel like walking past those like buildings again. I just want to at least see what's beyond this first obstacle. Or, uh, you know, I mean, like... I want to see what's beyond here. God, this music is awful. Right, so how, how does this work? I'm trying my best to figure this out. What the? Huh? Wait. Pressing the jump button while Crouch makes that noise? What does that mean? Hey, you want to hear the most annoying noise in the world? Yeah! Right, let's see. Do I have to hold up on the rope? Is that how it works? No? Oh! Oh, okay. You do it at a very specific spot, I see. What, what, what do you mean? Gr grab! Okay, there you go. Guys, I'm not playing this up. I'm actually trying to beat this. <laughs> at least see if I can beat the first level, but... Oh boy, this is a rough game. I, I, don't, I don't like it. Imagine if this was your first exposure to video games. Hey, Jimmy, we got you an NES. Oh boy! Did you get me Super Mario Bros. 3 with it? Uh, no, no, Jimmy. The Super Mario Bros. 3 is sold out in all the game stores we tried. But we did get you this game. Remember that movie we watched in, in the cinema a few months ago? Well, here's Cliffhanger for you. Enjoy! So I think I beat the first level, or the first stage of the level? I, I don't know. I at least reached a transition point, but hmm. I'm just gonna see if I can find any actual guys, because we've only seen wildlife so far. We've seen hawks, and we've seen, you know, coyotes, or wolves, or whatever, in the middle of the Himalayas. Um, I wanna see if I can find any actual, like, foot soldiers, because apparently those are a thing in this game, according to the blurb on the back. Oh, hey there, Kazu. Yeah, I changed the title to Super Mario Brothers because it's basically a catch-all for NES games that I'm doing randomly. Should have changed the title to Ice Climbers, it would be more appropriate for this game. It's like a, a, a hybrid of, like, Donkey Kong and Ice Climbers. I love how the rocks just spawn right above me like that, that's, that's always fair. So, since you just joined Kazu, if you didn't hear me say it, apparently this is a real NES game that you could actually pay money for, and it came out as late as 1993. That's right, at least two years after Mario Worlds. The Super Nintendo was a thing by the time this game released. Can I hang on ledges? Because if I can, I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. 
Yeah, drop the rock on me. Ah! Alright, well, I think that's as... I think that's as much as I'm willing to put into this. How do I leave again? Hang on. Second. Wait, what the, what the fuck is he doing? Is he doing a, a fucking shuffling dance? Like, what's going on here? Oh, I died. We need to see that again. He, ha he looks like he's got a skull face. It's like the latest TikTok trend. Yeah, I can see it. And dead. Oh yeah, and then there's this. Well, there you go, if you ever wanted to see an 8-bit version of Sylvester Stallone looking a little bit perturbed. I guess he played this game too, then yeah, there you go. Beautiful. But right, who the fuck do I leave NES games again? I forgot what this shortcut was for it one second. Is it this? Yeah, there it is. Right, okay, I'll have to remember that. I genuinely forgot which button you press to, like, back out to get to this menu. Alright, next game, Gremlins 2, the new batch. I think this might be an LGN game. I think I remember hearing something about this. Okay, no, I don't think this is LGN. It's made by Sunsoft, what? Blaster Master Sunsoft made this? Okay. Oh, it's definitely... You, you can tell it's a Sunsoft production when you hear the sound font. Thumbs up! Oh, I think I've seen this game before. I don't think I've played it before, but I've heard the music from it at least. So we're playing as Gizmo, I think is the name of this little critter. You know, I really need to sit down and watch the, the Gremlins movies. I remember watching the first one when I was really young, but I don't remember much about it other than just like, the back half of the movie where like, all the evil ones like cause mayhem and like havoc and shit. I'm kind of glad that we've got, like, a, a legit quality game here, because this looks pretty good. Welcome, Gizmo. What item would you like? I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit. Oh, I see. Right, so we have to select an item. So a Gizmo can buy Gizmo. Crystals are for. I guess that's the currency that was just using. Okay, that's that's silly. I will say this this does seem like a legit game. I didn't know Sunsoft made a fucking Gremlins game of all things. Like, Sunsoft has done some licensed games on the NES. Like, they did, um, Fester's Quest, which is a spin-off of the Addams Family where he plays Uncle Fester. Apparently that game is not that good, but the music in it is good. But yeah, I could say you could do worse than this. Like, you could play Fester's Quest instead. Am I supposed to kill this rat to get that door open? Hang on.
Oh, you can throw diagonal as well. That's cool. I'm about to die, though. Also, why does Gizmo have tomatoes? Oh, oh. Ah, screen now. Try that one more time. Yeah, well, I would say this is not terrible. Like, if I had this game growing up, I probably would have enjoyed it. It's very responsive, it's got a very simple but fun gameplay loop. And of course, the music kicks ass because Sunsoft. Like, any. Like, it doesn't matter what video game it is, if Sunsoft is involved, the music's always going to be great. Speaking of Sunsoft, isn't there a new game that's coming out that they're working on? I forgot. Oh. I think there's a new game that Sunsoft is working on, but it's kind of escaping me right now. Like, I feel like the name was attached to something that I saw in a recent indie or st show showcase or something like that. I don't remember, I've got a terrible memory, but... I'm actually going to look up real quick, because that's going to bother me. Sunsoft Wikipedia, because I feel like I've seen their name recently and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, you know what it was? I, I just remembered. They're actually working on a sequel to an old NES game, and it's called Euphoria 2. That's what it was. I was like, oh, Sunsoft is still around. And they're making a sequel to, like a really ancient NES game that nobody remembers. Euphoria is a great game, by the way. It's basically a Metroidvania, before Metroidvanias were a thing. It's a very goofy little game. I'm glad to see there's a sequel to it coming out. It's coming out in just a few months, actually. Like, February, I think, is when it's coming out. So, when that does release, I will give that a stream. Oh, God. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not really that good at this game, but I do kind of like it. Seems like you have an infinite continue system, which is always something I approve of. Never been a fan of NES games where it's like, okay, you have three continues, you run out of those, you go all the way back to the start. And even if you don't feel like going through most of the game, there's a password system as well, so yeah, it's not too bad actually. I like it. Alright, next game, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Wait, didn't we play this at some point? I feel like we did. One second. I don't know if we did this one. Hang on a minute. I could have sworn I played this. Give me one minute, please. Shit. Uh, this is going to be fun because I'm going to have to like look through some stuff to find this. Yeah. Like, I've got this feeling in the back of my head that we did play this at some point because, I don't know, I just have that feeling that we did. Let me just look up real quick. Because I'm looking through my list of stuff that I've done on previous, like, sessions. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm imagining it. 
Right, so let's do Bram Stoker's Dracula. This might be a repeat, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's just do it anyway for like five minutes. So this game came out in 1993, apparently. Again, Super Mario World was out by the time this game released, so that's interesting, I guess. Psygnosis, I know that company. Probe, I know them as well. I think Probe were responsible for porting uh, Mortal Kombat to consoles back in the day. Do we have any audio? Oh, there is. I was wondering if there was audio actually coming out of this game, but there is. Daytime Scene 1, A Journey Through Transylvania. So I've never seen the the Bram Stoker's Dracula movie, like, you know, the one in the 90s with What's-His-Face. Who I think I'm playing as right now. Why was the menu screen in Morse code? I have no idea. Alright, so there's a ground pound. I feel like I've played this on, on stream before, but I don't remember. Like, after the stream, I'm gonna have to, like, do research to see if I did do this on Retro Roulette. If I did, then I'll just... Like, I'll just put it in parentheses, I guess. I'll just say, like, repeat. Maybe it's like a Mandela effect where maybe I played this ROM at some point, but not on that segment of the stream. Oh, that's the level already. That was quick. But yeah, let's, let's just not worry about that for now. Let's just check it out for a few minutes and then we'll do another game. Like, whenever I do the Retro Roulette segment, I always make sure to take out the games. At least I, I try to, like, make sure I take out all the games that I played in that list. So say, for example, I play Mario 3 uh, after the stream, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take Mario 3 out of that folder. Just to make sure that we don't run into, like, repeats, but yeah. Nice music, by the way. Oh. Also, Mario question mark blocks, anyone? So we're playing a game about, like, Dracula in Transylvania, right? Why do we have these, like, people running about with, like, knives? Like, who are these people? They don't look like zombies. I don't think they're vampires themselves. So you have to hit the boss when they're going on their way back, I guess. There we go. I'm guessing that was Dracula or something? I have no idea. It was like some sort of shadow creature trying to take me to the shadow realm. Who knows? Trapped in Castle Dracula. Okay. No idea how to grab that. Oh. I think I have to do that. Alright. So it's an okay platformer. I wouldn't say it's amazing or anything, but you know what? It's a damn sight better than Cliffhanger, I'll tell you that much. If you had to give me a choice to play either this or Cliffhanger, definitely this one.
I love that there's like Mario 3 style question mark blocks and you have to ground pound into them to like open them up. I can't believe this game predicted New Super Mario Brothers DS like 20 years in advance or whenever, like, no not 20, about 15 years before that game came out. What the? I don't know what the fuck hit me there, but okay. Ah! Is the hitbox really that massive? Oh god. Good. Aww. Right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Zerwaldo out of that for a second. Just wanna see a little bit more of the game before I stop. But yeah, like I said, not amazing, but you can definitely do worse, I guess. Oh, it's the penis music again. What the? I... I thought that was a button in the water you could activate? I was like, oh, I'll just go in the water and hit the switch. No, nope, that's not what that is. Hmm. What is up with this fucking music? Go home, music, you're drunk. Oh, fuck. Secret. Oh, silly me thinking I could jump into the blocks like that. Oh. Nope, can't ground pound them. Some some fun stuff happening here. Hmm. Okay, so even if the hand looks like it's far away, the hitbox is still there. Really now, it's that big? Very good design there. Alright, I think that's about all, all I can stomach of that one, thanks. That penis music was starting to get to me a little bit. B-52? The fuck? B-52? What, what does this mean? Codemasters! Absolutely brilliant! Copyright 1992. Camerica presents... B-52 Bomber! Get honey from the flowers and take it back to your hive. Alright. Wait, front and back? Oh, like two sides of the... Okay, I see. Two sides of the, the building you leave. Wait, what the... Am I stuck? Oh, I read right, you're stuck in the web. That's what's going on there. Interesting, oh, interesting idea for a game, I guess. What the? Okay, you can stop that, please. Okay. So I don't know what the fuck I'm firing, but I do have a sting attack if I want to just sting them from above. So the controls, the, the flying controls of this bee is very unwieldy. It's like extremely... How do, how do I put it into words? Like, it's very slippery, very fast, very loose.
Hmm. Guess I'm not allowed to do that. It's a sprinkler, I guess. Oh! Level warp? What? Oh! I accidentally discovered the warp zone. Okay then, we're on stage four now. Uh-oh, killer wasps. You're in real trouble now. Uh, let's take the front door. No, we can't take the front door. Alright, let's take the back door then. I've never seen or played this game before, so I'm kind of surprised I just accidentally, like, uncovered that on my first try. So I guess the idea is you've got to get the honey from the flowers and then bring them back into your, your hornet's nest thing. I guess that's what you're doing. Can I get these guys out of there? Oh god. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Oh. Give me, give me that, give me that! Okay then. Guess I ain't getting that then. Oh Jesus. Okay, these things are just insta-killing me now. I love how the eyes move independently of the body though, that's kind of funny. Oh God, th these guys don't fuck around, do they? Sorry, I'm just rushing at this point. Tell you what, let me rewind out that, let me actually try and do stuff. Oh, come on. There. I don't know what that means, but okay. So yeah, we're basically collecting honey is what we're trying to do. That thing gives you an item, but it's gone now. Oh, fucker. Oh! Oh, we got a spread shot. Check. Can I go in, please? No? Am I about to die? Like, what's happening with my meter? Oh, fuck off. I don't like how this bee controls because it just kind of goes all over the place if you're not careful. There we go. A bee stung a fucking wasp. By the way, fuck wasps in particular. I don't know what the purpose of those are, but I'm guessing there's something hiding in one of them. No? Okay then. Okay, why can't I go in there? Oh, oh. Check. Okay. Wait, is my honey full? Is that why I have to go back? Or is that is that what it's mm. Oh that's that's a fun mechanic, yeah, just just have that there so I can't fucking move forwards. So I think the idea is you have to gather like 
honey or pollen from the different flowers, and then once it's full, you have to come back here and get some more honey. Okay, yeah, that's how that works, right? I understand now. So you have to, like, make several round trips to get everything you need. Right, well, I guess that aim's just gone forever now. Fuck off. I really don't like the sprinkles. The sprinkles... Oh. The hell? Oh, shit. They're stealing my stuff? What? Oh, you can go fuck right off with that. Wait, why do I have a little thing with me now? Oh, boy. Guys, I found a workaround. If you turn to the left, you'll go to the right when you get hit. Doesn't matter which angle you get hit from, if you turn in the other direction, you can get around the sprinkler more easily. Right, I think I'm just about done with this. Game over, yeah. Game over. I mean, I'll give it points for originality. I've never seen an NES game do something like this before. And apparently it's a very late NES game. I'm not really a fan of the controls, though. The controls are a little bit wonky. Like, it's responsive, but it's also extremely slippery and easy to, like, you know, fuck up because of that. There you go. The music song, the, the music sounds all right, I will say. But yeah, this game was made by Codemasters. But yeah, eh, not much to say about that one. But you know, far from the worst game I played tonight. All right, so the next game is going to be Rampage. I've helped with this one. Sorry, I keep pressing the wrong button when I try to launch one. Just ignore me doing that, I guess. So this game was made by Data East, published by Midway. So I've never played uh, any version of Rampage before, but basically it's based off of an arcade game where you play as a kaiju destroying buildings and shit. Like, that's kind of what it is. So select your mutant, George, ever-growing concern over Mega Vitamin. Hang on. And Lizzie, Radioactive Lake, changes women's scale. What? Guess I'll play as Lizzie then. Okay, how do I get on the building? Oh, there we go. So the idea is to climb the buildings and, like, punch them until they fall down. Meanwhile, the army in, is trying to stop you, I guess. I think you can also just grab and eat people who are in the windows. So yeah, I've seen this game, but I've never ever played any version of Rampage before. I've only, like, seen what it looks like. But yeah, as far as, like, NES port conversions go from arcade to NES, uh, it's, it's a little bit on the rough side. It kind of looks very slapped together, very simplistic. What's that? Alright, that goes the building. I like that three second music loop. Yeah, it's a classic. <laughs> oh. Wait, did I take damage in the war? Yes, I do. So let's not do that, I guess. How do I destroy the other side of that building? Oh, okay, that's how you do it. 
you have to hold down to punch there. Alright, I think I kind of get it now. Yeah, so you can you can eat human people, like, you can eat the civilians if you just punch in their general direction. I think I just got a turkey meat in the wall. Oh, fuck. Is that death? It's not death, but it's a lot of damage if you fall like that. Note to self, don't let the building collapse when you're on top of it, I guess. Wait, what did that say? Day 2, Sacramento. Real life Jekyll and Hyde story. Okay, thanks. <laughs> There's a businessman there. I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh. What the fuck? So wait, these were people that were mutated into giant kaiju monsters? Okay then. I'll do one more life, I guess. Funny how it doesn't take full damage from that. So one thing that's kind of annoying about this is you've got to punch the specific tiles for each of the buildings, but the problem is you've got to like punch it exactly in the middle. If you're slightly above or below it, it will not connect. Grab it, please. I'll take that cake, thank you. I do think it's bullshit that you take fall damage from that wall. I guess I don't want that skeleton, so I'm not going to touch it. It's inoffensive. Day, day 3 Sacramento hint. Want to eat well, punch slower. Okay. Did I just punch him in the fucking face? Starting to get the hang of it somewhat, but I'm almost dead again. There we go. I can kind of... You're out here, call now, 1-800-ZOO-KEEP. I can kind of see the appeal of, I guess, the arcade version of this, but yeah, the NES one is definitely, like, more stripped down and stuff. Like, because it is possible to do, like, really good arcade ports for NES. I mean, there's Contra. There's a... Uh, what's the other good example? Like, Contra being the most, like, you know, the, the most obvious one. Technically, Pac-Man, that's a pretty decent conversion. There was another one I had on my mind, but I just forgot it. But yeah, Contra is, like, the most obvious one in my mind. But yeah, I think I'm done with this. To the Earth. God damn it. You're gonna see me do that a lot, because my brain has to, like reverse itself to remember all oh, the A and B buttons are swapped on that menu. To the Earth! 
Oh, it's a zipper game? Okay, sadly I can't do this one then, if that's the case. Sorry. Black Bass USA B. Galaga? Yeah, Gal Galaga's pretty good. That fish looks inverted or something, like something with its eyes. One second. There's like a fish there. That's cool, I guess. Anyways, my name is Ah! I am a beginner. Participant ranking 200th place. Weather conditions or heavy rain. So it's like a fishing simulator, I guess? Well, I guess I'll park here. Whoa. You lost your lure. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's go for frog. I like frog. Uh, sorry, um... End? No? Let me try that again. Let's see if I can find any fish, I guess. Not seeing anything. I don't like this music. <laughs> Sorry, I have nothing to say about this one. Not until I try catching a fish at least. Ten out of ten. The fish died. Yeah, this is this is kind of boring. This is what you call a dad video game. Like this is a game that's specifically designed for dads. Catch the Hyrulean bass. I wish I could. Am I really supposed to just wait for a moment rather than move it about? You'd think moving it a little bit would attract the fish, you know, like, kind of awkward enough time, but, mm, doesn't seem to be the case. I'm probably doing something wrong, but I don't know what, to be honest with you. Right, you know what? How do I restart? Let me just load that back up again, I'm gonna try going somewhere else. Keep in mind, I was playing beginner. Oh, I skipped this by accident the last time. Please enjoy yourself at this year's angling event. That's a, that's a nice face right there. Maybe I should go into the deeper lake? Maybe that would be a good place to check out? Did I? Did I grab something there for a brief moment? No, I guess not. Yeah, I don't understand how you'd play this.
this might be one of those games where I actually need to read the instruction manual to figure out how to get the fish to come to me, because I have not seen a single fish this whole time. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna look up the manual for this. Hang on. What was it called again? It was Bass Fishing something, but I forgot the full title. Uh, hang on. Black Bass USA, okay. Black Bass USA NES Manual. Alright, I'm looking at it now. How to use the controls. Okay, select button, B, right, okay. Casting left, right to, de to decide the casting position. Moving the lure. Okay. It doesn't say anything about how to get the fish to show up. Like, the stuff that I've been doing so far pretty much is what's been written here. Hang on a second. Starting position, press up and down to select your situation. Your starting situation. Hmm. Right, let's see. Casting... Casting is throwing the lure into a good spot so that the possibilities of catching a fish are improved. Left and right to choose a casting direction. A button one shoot. Press once and you will find a red bar meter is increasing and then decreasing. This indicates your casting power. Okay. So the press A a second time to throw the lure. If the lure is thrown over the right or left side of the screen, it will be lost. Press B while the lure is flying. This will stop the lure from going any further. This effect is called thumbing because the lure is being stopped by the application with your thumb on the line. If you want to catch, catch a big one, it's a good idea to cast as close as possible to any obstacles. Try not to hit any obstacles as the fish will be scared away. So they say obstacles? Where the fuck do I find obstacles? The process of a catching a fish. Make the, make the lure attractive to the hiding fish and wind up the line to catch it in the landing net. Like this? Oh! Oh! That's the most exciting thing I've seen in this entire game so far, and it led to disappointment. I'm gonna see if I can attempt to catch one fish and then we'll change games. Come on, can, can we get a fish, please? Ugh. Fine. So hang on a minute. I'm looking at the instruction manual, I didn't read the whole thing yet. If you wind up the line with the fish too fast, the ringing sound will caution you. Okay, no that's not. I, I want to know how to start catching the fish so I can reel it in. Bear with me a second, there's a lot to read here. So when you catch a fish, press in the opposite direction of that the fish is running of the fish is running way. Sometimes you can change its direction by doing this. Okay. 
I, I hate this mu this music. It's fucking awful. So I guess I just need to keep wiggling that around a little bit and just hope that it, that it eventually shows up again. I'm noticing it says 0.4 feet for a fraction of a second if I spam the D-pad around. I don't understand how you latch onto it once it starts. It's the A button, apparently. I'm pretty sure I did that, but okay, let's try again. God, that this is awful. You, you, you son of a bitch! Come back here! Try that again. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> riveting gameplay, I know. Listen, I'm not even going to commit to catching a fish, I at least want to see if I can latch it on and try to wrestle it a little bit. Alright, here we go. I'm not quite sure how this works, but I'm trying. I'm trying to hold in the opposite direction that it's facing in, or more specifically, the direction that it's, like, facing, is what I mean. Oh. Holding up, holding down, holding up, holding down. Good game. Skate or die. So this is made by Konami. Don't think I've ever played this before. Like, I think on Retro I played the sequel at some point, but I've never played the original, so here we go. Actually, wait, did I play this? I don't remember. I feel like I'm... Maybe it was the sequel I played and not the original, but this seems very familiar. Didn't AVGN review this at some point? So anyway, where am I going? Sign in if you want to compete. Sure. Nope. Wait. Cancel. Please. Ow! Okay, my name is Al, sure. Um, sorry. Mm. Th this menu is very, very janky. How do I... Wait, I select number four to cancel? That's weird. Anyways, let's... Uh... Simperfy or die? What? Don't you like my do? Okay, let's go compete. Oh boy, it's one of these games. How do I... Okay. So, it's one of these games where left and right steers you right and, right and left. It's like tank controls. And you hold up to like go faster and down to slow down. Right, so, we'll check out all these games real quick. There's only like five, so we'll do Joust first. I'll just go from left to right and see what each of these, each of these are like. How do I begin? Um, 
Hello? Guys, I'm pressing the D-pad and buttons. I don't know how to start. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, am I playing against player two? What is happening? Hang on a second. Hmm. Is it broken? What the? Oh. Let me restart real quick. Sorry about that, but um, I, I don't know why I can't start there. Let me go into Go Practice. Like, fuck the name system, I'm just gonna go in like this. Okay, so I think the other one was more of a, a two-player thing, which is why I couldn't start. This time I can select my opponent. So pose or Pete, hey dude, give me a break, I'm just learning how to joust, so that's like easy mode. Aggro Eddie, no prob, I know my way around the pool. Do you know your way Do Do you? Better know your stuff before you take me on. Sorry, I, I cannot read today, I apologise. And then Lester, skate or die. So I guess it's easy, medium, hard. Let's try easy first. Okay, there we go. Oh, I won. Somehow. Oh. So wait, why did he have the Q-tip that time? Did we just take turns having the pugil stick? Oh, I think I get it now, like... It switches after so many seconds, that's that's why I, I, I'm missing it sometimes. So I have to basically survive until I can get it back and then I can hit him with it. Yeah, this isn't exactly that... Oh, it just ended. Yeah, it's not exactly that fun. Like, first time I got very lucky, afterward not so much. Skating to downhill. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Keep in mind I'm doing practice mode. How do I jump? Wait. Let me figure this out. Wait a second. Okay, you want to know how you jump? It took me a little bit of thin dangling to figure it out. Here's how you jump. You press, you hold A to get into a crouching position, and then you tap up while you're doing that. Oh, this is some hot shit, this. I don't like this game. So, you're telling me Konami made this? THE Konami made this game. I really hate these controls. No, I'm not practicing that again. I'm just gonna check the five minigames and move on because that's basically all there is to this. You'd think, oh, if you complete these you get more? No, as, as far as I'm aware, these are the whole, like, this is the whole game's content. But this time I'm the guy in the yellow mohawk. Oh, it's like Road Rash, you can punch your opponent. Alright, we'll see you later, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Fucking dead. Oh, I don't like that jumping. <laughs> so wait, did our hair get left behind when we hit the, the gate? I won, apparently. Yeah, go me. Awful. Fucking awful game. 
so far. High jump. Oh, this is like California games, I think. Let me see if I can actually figure this out. Get, what, please move? How do I get momentum? What? I, I don't know how to go faster. I'm, I'm trying every button in direction. I'm, ju I'm just going slower. No? Wait a minute. Wait, what did I do there just now? I don't know what I just did. Wait, hold, hold on. Oh, don't you love video games that takes experimentation to figure out what you're doing wrong? Okay, you know what? Can we stop, please? Okay. I don't know how to end that mini game, so I'm just gonna do that instead. style. Last one. Alright, good game. So, next up on the list is Ultimate Air Combat. Is this going to be like uh, Top Gun? Copyright 1991 Activision. Whoa, look at them graphics. Yeah! yeah! That was a nice sound bite there. Powder Keg, Tub Buster, London Bridge, or Campfire. Is this a, a, a is this a game that uses the Enya Zapper? We found a secret ammo dump located in five of these buildings. They should be easy to blast. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. Let's try F18 Hornets. Okay. I'll give that a try, question mark. I'm probably not going to be very good at this, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, it's pretty much just Top Gun. Oh fuck. Whoa, okay. Oh fuck. I am not very good at these controls. Started. So wait, which one is mine? Is is that my teammate or is that an enemy? <laughs> I do love that. Yeah, no, that's that's really fun. I mean, it's ambitious for NES, I guess. Fuck. There we go. Get fucked. Yeah! 
Yeah! I, I really appreciate that guy's voice. That's, that's really silly. Oh. Got him engaging autopilot. Right, apparently I succeeded in the mission. Oh, we're going into land now, okay. Whoa, completely different gameplay style, what? Okay, this is kind of cool, actually. Like, the first person segment was very janky, but I kind of like this idea where it, like, shifts, like, perspective for the land segments. So I need to look for, what was that was supposed to blow up? Buildings or something? I think that's what that guy told me in the briefing. I just don't know where they are. Can I go faster? Guess not. Wait, am I supposed to follow the arrow? Oh, okay, right. So, apparently this is where I'm supposed to go. Bonus. Oh, I see. Right, I get it now. That's kind of neat, actually. I will say this isn't this isn't that bad, honestly. Like I was expecting this to be like really fucking bad, but no, it's actually it's actually got a little bit of merit to it. It's not exactly my kind of game, but I can imagine some people would really enjoy this. Also, look at those three-dimensional buses. Or trucks. Yeah! yeah! Yeah, destroying enemy buildings with people inside them. We're having fun. Yeah! I think this is the last building. There we go. Whoa! Oh, that was some smooth sprite animation there. Did you see that? And thank god it's not like Top Gear where you've got to land the plane on the fucking carrier, so... Like, I've never played Top Gun, but everybody's seen that AVGN episode where he reviews it. Like, the NES game. Uh, I'll do one more mission. Let's do... I'm guessing this is Mega Man style, where you do a first set of levels, and then you've got, like, another set of levels afterward, I guess. Uh, London Bridge. We'll do that one. These four bridges link supply link Guano's key jungle supply lines. Take them all out. Clean and simple. Isn't Guano Mexican for batshit or something like like that? F14 Tomcat. Let's try something else here. Let's try foolproof air-to-air -air missile. It destroys its target even when it moves off the screen. Yeah, we'll give that. We'll give that a try. I'm going to stick with the F-14, or whatever the, the blue one's called. Bogey! I will say, this segment I don't like as much because it's a little bit janky to like try and stay on target. But once you get a feel for it, I think it's okay, but... Oh god. Seizure warning, I guess. On. I'm just looking for a target to hit. How do I use my missiles? Oh, shit. Am I being hit? Wait, what did he say? Did he say we're hit? Ah! 
not not very good at this. Oh, I think you have to hold the B button for a second to fire it. Like, cause I was I was tapping B button, but that's not enough. You have to hold it down for a moment. We're hit. Oh. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! What am I doing? Difficult to line it, line up your shot. Shit. The, I will say this part of the game I'm not too crazy about. It's really hard to line your shots. Why? Why am I having such a hard time finding these guys? Nope, don't hit me. Hmm. There we go. Yeah! Right, I kinda... Oh. oh my god, my eyes! Please! I'm not epileptic or anything, but that's hard to look at even for me. Jesus. Lock on! Fuck it, I'll just do this. I think I ran out of rockets. Whoa! What am I doing? We're hit! Can you tell I'm having a really hard time trying to stay on target? I think I got him. There we go. Jeez, that was hard. I mean, I can see the appeal of this kind of game, but yeah, probably not for me. I like this segment way better than the other segment. At least this one, I feel like I've got some degree of control. So yeah, I've got to follow the arrow to get to my objective. After we're done with this, whether I die or win, uh, we will move on to the next game. Oh. Okay, so I have to shoot the bridge. I think they said there were four bridges I've got to destroy. Line myself up for this. Alright, that's one. Time. There we go. One more bridge. Yeah! Oh, fuck. There we go. So, yeah, it's not. Terrible, honestly. Mela, thank you very much for following on Twitch. Welcome to the stream. So yeah, this game's not terrible, honestly. Like, you could definitely do worse. I will say that the, the first person segments are a fucking bitch to control because I was really struggling to stay on target. 
But other than that, mm, it's, you know, certainly not as bad as Top Gun. I say as somebody who's never played that, but, you know. I'm sure, I, like, just take AVGN's word for it, I guess. Anyways, uh, next game is... Oh boy, Total Recall. So, I think this might be an LGN game. I know AVGN reviewed this at some point. Oh no, it's not, L a it's not LGN. It's Acclaim and Interplay. So this game came out in 1990, it seems like. I'm just going to skip this story. Like, I'm not going to read all that dialogue. Let me turn the volume down ever so slightly. So here's Arnie, which I guess it does kind of resemble him a little bit in terms of like him being a very top he heavy, like muscular guy. Oh. The hell? So a guy pops out of the alley and just drags me behind there, I think. At least I think this is a back alley. Looks more like a sewer. Also, oh, why is Arnold Schwarzenegger attacking midgets? What the fuck? Like, I know Arnold's big, but he's not that big. Alright. Cinema 3. Guys, it's the sequel to the cinema so good that we skipped over 2. It's like Golf Simulator 3. What? Oh, it's the- it's a credits roll. It's a fucking weird place to put that. Yeah, if you want if you want to find out who made this game in advance, then there you go. <laughs> Do I have a gun? Guess I don't have a gun yet. You have lost a life. Prepare for another attempt. What a fucking wait. Isn't I'll Be Back a line from Terminator? What's that doing in a Total Recall game? Like, yeah, I know it's Arnie, but still. Does he say that in Total Recall? I don't think he does. Oh. I guess I've got to kill this guy first. So wait, am I supposed to not let that guy touch me? Ah, oh, fuck off. So yeah, I think AVGN may have like reviewed this game a long time ago. This does look familiar. So after you kill the, all the, the, the weird little enemies, the, the, the midget guys, you've got to, like, get out of here, I guess? But I don't know how you leave. I, I don't like this. Oh, that's how you get out. <laughs> the second I step out of the alleyway, there's just a guy in a trash can shooting at me with a gun. That... Yeah, that guy in purple I think I'm supposed to avoid. Really don't like that. Really don't like that there's just someone that pulls you behind the alleyway and you've got to like do this bullshit. Oh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I'm just going to jump past the alleyways now because I don't want to get dragged behind there again. There we go, that seems to be working quite well. So, I haven't seen Total Recall since I was a child. I don't remember much of it. But, was there any point where we fucking, like, beat up, like, cops and, like, like you know, cops and, like, body armor and shit? Because I don't think that was a part of the movie. Also... 
I'm not going to say it, but it's pretty obvious what that looks like. At least I beat one level. What the? Oh, is this meant to be... I, I forget what this character's called, but it's meant to be his wife. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I think I remember there was a bit, the AVG ended, where it's like the kid's playing this game and he's like, I'm playing Nintendo, and then the, the father's like, oh, that's good, son, and he's like, yeah, I just shot my wife! That's, that's what the, yeah, I remember that joke. <laughs> but as soon as I saw this, Paul's like, oh, yeah, right, it's this, it's this part of the game. <laughs> Hang on a second. Can I... Hold on a minute. Turbo, please. I don't need you right now. Uh-oh. Hang on a second. I am running into technical difficulties. Uh-oh. Yeah, something went wrong there. Y you know what? It's fine. I was going to try and rewind out of it, but... Mm. Oh, I hate this. One moment, please. Okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, get up in between the bullets and move a little bit and then go back down. Alright, let's try something different. Come here. Really? Yeah, I want to see what's beyond this part, so we're, we're not going to waste time there. Stop that. There we go. Quaid escaped from his apartment. Wait, that's the character's name? Again, I haven't watched this movie since I was a child, so... He's going for the subway. Let's get him. Well, I do appreciate the visuals for the cutscenes. Like, it's not just a bunch of text to, like, dis vaguely describe the story. I don't remember. Like, I really don't remember the story to Total Recall. The only part of the film I remember was, like, the end, where, like, they get sucked out into the atmosphere of, like, Mars or something. Not the atmosphere, like, they get sucked out into Mars, like, the surface of it. And there's just this moment where they're, like, you know, they have no, no oxygen and their faces are, like, swelling up and they're like, Argh! That's all I remember from that film. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, this, this isn't, this isn't, not a very, I mean, it's so, it's okay for a licensed game, but, uh, it's one of those games that seems a little bit too annoying to play. Next game.
Right. Uh, I don't know if I can play this. Let me quickly check what this is. I didn't know this was in the list. I'll show you the title screen. There's the title screen. I'm kind of worried because I feel like this is going to be something a little bit too hot for Twitch. Let me just quickly see what's going on here. Oh yeah, right, okay. I cannot show this. <laughs> oh no. Um, I mean, you don't need me to tell you what's on the screen. You can probably figure out for yourself what I'm looking at. It's a puzzle game and there's certain visual imagery that's on the screen. It's like reverse Tetris? I don't understand how this works. Uh, anyways, I'm not I'm not gonna risk that one. Sorry guys. Next game. Re Redia Seki Remy Hen. Sorry for butchering the fuck out of that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make sure I take that out of the list for next time I stream this segment. Like I had like I've just got like a bunch of NES games in this list. I didn't know that was one of them. This looks kinda cool. G Gadius. Hoo hoo, Princess Leafus. Don't think you can escape me. Hello, have you ever played the crappy Back to the Future games for NES? I have not, but I've seen the AVGN reviews for them. If they end up getting randomly picked, I will check them out. Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! So the Chronicle of the Radia War is what this game is called. Made by Temco. So let's see what this is all about. It's a Zelda clone? Not what I was expecting. Where am I? Oh, my head still hurts. Huh? Someone's coming. What's this? I've never seen you before. Ah, you're one of those bandits, huh? Alright, I'll teach you a lesson. Ah! Blast, we're surrounded. Monsters? Is this a dream? Alright, it's the truce for now. Let's take care of these monsters. Oh. Kind of like Chrono Trigger Battle, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, back, back out a second. Okay, so... Kind of Zelda-ish. With a sort of a... Uh, ATB. ATB system thing going on, I think is what I'm trying to say. Oh. I have the power. I'm the guy in blue, by the way. Phew, that was close. Thank you. Are you a knight from somewhere? You can use magic? Hmm, I guess you're not a bandit, are you? Sorry, I'm Doris. Who are you? I don't know, I can't remember. Oh, Amnesiac Kiro, got it. What? You mean you've lost your memory? Who am I? Where am I? Oh. Huh. Alright. Well... Guess I'll just put this in. Be completely original here, but... Mel, that's your name? I think so. Nice to meet you, Doris. Hey, if you don't have anywhere to go, you can come back to my village. Really? Thank you. Elfa's village is to the north. Let's go. I'm not going to spend too long on this, but I do want to see a little bit of this, because this looks intriguing. Okay, so when we're not in battle, we're moving on a grid. So it's kind of like a JRPG thing going on here. Never heard of this game before. It looks kind of cool. Oh, what's that say? Elfis. I've been staying at Chief Rolo's house. Rolo, Darius, what's going on? I see. Yes, of course he can stay here. Mina! Mina the Hollower? 
How do you do? Right this way. Mina, you must be tired. Go ahead and sleep on that bed. Oh, by the way, um, if it does end up showing up, like I mentioned this earlier about like Euphoria 2, Euphoria 1 should be in the list of games here, so there is a possibility that I will end up playing like a few minutes of that at some point. I might do a full playthrough of that before Euphoria 2 comes out. So yeah, this, this game seems pretty neat. Uh, how do I talk to someone? I don't understand. Oh, it's the B button to talk. You must be tired, go ahead and sleep on that bed. Sure. Just walk onto it. Oh, that's cool, there's built-in save. I was kind of half expecting it to be like a battery system, but no, it's not. Or not not battery, sorry, password. I was expecting it to be a, a password thing. Mel, wake up, it's it's terrible. Mina's been kidnapped by bandits. What? Uh give me one second. Sorry, I had to take a quick drink there. My throat was getting dry. Mina went to the mountain and didn't come back. This hasn't ever happened before. That doesn't... This has not ever happened before. I, I, I've never heard someone word it like that before. But okay. Right, well, I guess we're going to the mountains then to try and rescue her. Probably won't be happening in the next 10 minutes, but we'll see how far we can go. I guess I can buy stuff. Do I have money? Oh. Oh, I don't have any money. Fuck. I guess I won't get money until later, so I guess we just need to go with what we've got right now. Where is the exit? There you are. I'll do a few more battles just to see what kind of monsters we can face. I'm gonna guess the mountains are this way. You know, this kind of reminds me of uh, a game called Ease, YS. Okay. Okay, so it's random encounters. Fight. Attack freely. He leveled up, then I did. Right. I like that you can level up mid fight like that. Trophy meat. Did I read that right? Hang on a second. Um. Gear. Equip. No. Tool. Medic. Prize. Oh, here we go, right, meat. Okay, I, I understand now. I'll try and get to the mountain. I don't know if I'll rescue the princess, probably not. 
Or well, at least I assume it's a princess of some description. But we'll just say for now it's a princess. Even if it's not true. But yeah, let's uh... This looks kind of neat. I'm guessing this was a Japanese only game because that's like an English translation. But yeah, I've never heard of this game before. I don't know who made it, but I like it. It's one of those games where if I grew up with it, I probably would have enjoyed it. See, that to me is like a good litmus test of like if an NES game still holds up to this day. It's like you ask yourself, well, think back to how young you were when you first played NES. If you were to play this game back in that like young age, would you have liked it? And you know, the first game I played tonight, Cliffhanger, I probably would have fucking hated that game. But yeah, no, I could see myself liking this. You know, granted I understood all the mechanics and stuff, but... I probably would have had, like, a sibling help me out or something to figure that shit. So we're fighting goats now, I think. Or bulls. Trying to keep my distance so they don't ram me. There we go. Trophy meat. It seems like there's no shortage of, like, you know, healing items, at least, this early in the game. Oh, come on. So the best course of action is just to like pin him into a corner and then just wail on him. Like just do this. And hope that they don't wiggle their way out of the corner. I'm sure there'll be enemies later who don't flinch to your sword attack like that. But for now that seems like a valid strategy, just like push them into a corner. Hey, this is our turf. Get lost, mountain bandits. You're the bandit gang. Give Mina back. Boss. Hey, what's all the rackets? Boss! You're the leader? Huh. You little shrimp. Boss. What? Oh no, the boss. Run! This guy looks tiny compared to us. Stop it, Baru! Mina? You've got it all wrong, Darius. Baru saved me from monsters. Didn't mean to. I was just out monster hunting. You're lucky I ran into you. Still, thank you. Hmm. Now get out of here. Oh, well that resolved itself pretty easily. Okay. And here I thought it was going to take like two hours just to see Mina again, but no, we're, we're fine. Now, which house was the house I was supposed to... Was it the big house in the middle? Yeah, here it is. My daughter told me everything. Thank you both. Darius, could you take this to Nyata for me? Nyat! Then come back. Take that to Nyuta? New, 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 I, I don't know how you... Hmm. 
I take it I have to go to the blacksmith or something. I don't know who Nyata is, but I'll, I'll go look for them. Hmm. Alright. Oh, oh. Stop, please. Sorry, the menu's a bit finicky. It's no good just carrying weapons and armor around. You've got to equip them. Maybe I can equip this all for myself for now. Equip. Okay then. I wish they would tell me where this fucking Nyota guy is so that I could like go and, you know, give this to them. You guys saved Mina? Mina? She looks happy. Okay. I don't know if there's anyone out back here. Nope. Just some livestock. I do wish I could run just a little bit faster, just so I could get around the town, you know, sooner. Are you Nyota? Okay, here we go. A rusty sword? Sure, tell me now I'll fix it up. Time to be a swordsmith again. Okay, let's go talk to Mina now. I'll play this for a tiny bit longer, assuming, you know, that stuff's gonna start happening again. I'll give it a few more minutes at least, because I do want to see if there's, like, gonna be any more fights we can check out. My daughter told me everything. Thank you both. Right, let's go talk to Mina. There you are. Thanks, you can rest upstairs for now. Okay, be sure you don't get quote-unquote kidnapped this time while I sleep. Huh? Where's Darius? Darius? What's wrong? Oh, Mel. Well... Right now, a man called Nova rules over my homeland, Samara. My father was executed for opposing him, and my younger sister vanished. My journey is a journey of revenge. Someday, I will defeat Nova. What's that noise? Over there! Oh. Certainly some production value behind this, like, JRPG. It fell toward the mountain. Let's go! Can I rest up real quick so that I can save the game? Because I did not do that. So I'll spend a couple more minutes here. I'm going to see what the deal is with that meteorite, and then we'll, we'll change games. Uh, this way? Also, I wonder why Mina is awake at this hour. Why are people still awake out in, at night time? But... I'm going to assume stronger monsters show up at night time.
new enemies. It's like worm things. Oh. So we're fighting croissants. Trophy. Meat! I like how that that's how they word it. Like, instead of like saying, oh, you got an item, it's like, here's your trophy. It's a pile of meat. Enjoy. Daru leveled up. And so did I. Excellent. I got a lot of HP for that. Yeah, I do like the combat system. It's pretty neat for, like, you know, an old NES game. Oh. Sorry. There we go. So you can change commands on the fly if you want to, like, you know, regroup or whatever. Or guide the other people away from enemies. But for now I'm just going full aggro because I think at this point in the game you're fine just doing that. But I could imagine there'd be some strategy when you get much further into the game. Where you can't just simply just go in guns blazing. Or, well, sword swinging. I don't know what Trick does. I guess I'll try it. You know what? Play dead. So regroup is gather at a spot. I guess that means they all gather toward me. And then play dead is basically, you know, well, just lie down and hope that they ignore you. You can also, and got, like, you can either tell everyone to do it or you can, like, I guess, individ individual. That basically means you can, like, tell one person to do a specific command. So yeah, it does give you some options to, like, you know, strategize a little bit. back at where we were before. We only steal from the wicked and we don't kill. The runt er boss tells us what to do. Boss left on a big job. We make our doe hunting monsters. Okay. Hmm. Can we sleep and save here? Yes, we can. Oops, wrong button. I keep thinking B button is confirm. I'll tell you what, chat. A few more minutes. Like, games like this do demand a little bit more of my time, just to see, like... I mean, I kind of get the idea, but I do want to see if, if there's, like, a boss fight just up ahead, because I feel like we're due for one. I feel like there's going to be some confrontation when we get to, you know, where that meteorite landed. Which, I imagine we're not that far from it, I hope. But yeah, this is kind of a neat little game. Again, would have loved this as a kid. Oh, nothing up there. I can't even tell if I'm going backwards or not. Oh, we got new enemies, bees.
Come on. Unstun. Oh. Okay, so it wasn't a meteorite, it was a crashed plane. Is it an airship? Oh no, someone's still inside. It's a girl. Good, she's not hurt. I wonder where she came from. Wait, is this the plane that I got shot out of the sky from? She's out cold. Let's take her back to the village. No boss fight? Hmm. Right, so this game is cool and all, but I feel like we're going to get a bunch of exposition and stuff. I think I've seen enough of the game. I kind of like it. I, I forgot what this game was called, but yeah, it's, it's a neat little NES game. So we're going to move on from this. I'll do a few more games tonight, so next one is... Tiny Toon 4? What? What do you mean Tiny Toon 4? There's only like two Tiny Toon games. I'm guessing this is an unlicensed one. What? That's... I mean, it's it's still within the Looney Tunes universe, but that's not a Tiny Toons character. It's Crazy Castle, isn't it? Oh no, it's not Crazy Castle, it's B Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout. It's Bugs Bunny's 50th birthday. He has been invited to a huge party in his honour. I remember AVGN reviewing this. I'm going to mention AVGN a lot, aren't I? Like, a lot of these games are going to come up. Bugs receives a party invitation. It reads, Happy Birthday, Bugs. As a member of your fan club, it is our pleasure to request your presence. As the honoured guest, at the spectacular Bugs Bunny birthday blowout. Oh, there's the title drop. However, his fellow Looney Tunes pals are very unhappy about this party. Nobody has ever given parties in their honour. Why does Bugs Bunny get so much attention, Wily Coyote asks. That's bullshit, he never says a single word, he wouldn't ask that. At most, he would bring up a sign that would say as such. He and the others are mad. Oh yeah, I heard that there was like a Wily Coyote, like, animated movie that got cancelled. Like, it was finished, but then, like, Warner Brothers cancelled it. But they didn't even bother putting it in the cinemas, and apparently it was really cool. So th that's, that's fun, that they, like, just, you know, completely shit-canned that. Shame we'll never ever see it. He and the others are so mad that they try to prevent Bugs from reaching his own birthday party. Bugs must now make his way to the party, very cautiously to avoid all those crazy characters. All those crazy characters! Oh god, that frame rate. Very choppy. Uh, what do I do with this? Hmm. I guess it's just the logo once you're done with it. So yeah, I remember this is like one of the games that early Angry Video Game Nerd reviewed. It's the one where Mike Mate is like dressed in the big Bugs Bunny suit. So yeah, I'm well aware of this game through that review, but I've never actually sat down and played this myself, so this is like a first. I mean, it's a platformer. Um, I mean, it's competent, I guess. But there's not really a whole lot to say about it. Oh, that's cool. You can just jump on enemies like platforms. Also, did the music change? I feel I feel like it did change there. Ah, okay, the music's back to normal now. Oh. Again, I probably would have enjoyed this as a kid. Like, it's not it's not terrible. The frame rate's, you know, 
really fucking choppy for some reason. It's not like 60 FPS like you would expect a platformer, but it's... I guess the game's fine. It's a mindless platformer, it's certainly no Super Mario, but it gets the job done. Okay, so how do I... what, what do I do here? Oh, I just jump in. Oh, hey Daffy. Oh, I think I see what's going on, I have to hit the sign. No? I thought hitting the sign would change it to duck season. Oh. Hang on. Can I knock this down? No? Oh, wait a minute. You can use these as platforms. Oh. I thought that was a boss fight where you had to figure out how to, like, defeat Daffy, but now you just avoid him. That's how that works. Completed. Go to the bonus round. It's time for the balance round! Push button. Okay. Uh... What's going on here? Wait, is it like a pseudo bingo thing? Mm, I think I kind of see what's going on here. Yeah, this is kind of like just complete luck, it seems like. Sorry, no bonus. <laughs> okay then. No bonus. Push button. You need more carrots. Okay, so carrots are how you pay for tries at this. Kind of like Mario, Mario 2 with the coins in the slot machine. Okay. I'll do one more level. Again, it's alright. It's it's not terrible. I've certainly played a lot worse tonight, as you guys clearly saw. I think Cliffhanger, like the game I started off with tonight, was easily the worst game I played for tonight's showcase. My only real criticism with this game is the frame rate. Like, it's really fucking choppy. Like, because when I think of NES platforms, are what? Oh. When I think of NES platformers, I expect them to run at a very smooth frame rate. So seeing a game looking like this, it's definitely not easy on the eyes. I'll just say that much. Oh god, yeah, I don't want to look at that waterfall. That looks really distracting. So wait, is there like fucking meatballs coming out of these things? Whoa! Nice beginner's trap this early in the game. Love it. That's the second time tonight I've seen a sprinkler in the video game. Not exactly a common object to see as an obstacle in a video game, yet here we are. In the case of that B-52 game, it makes sense because, you know, you're playing as a B. Yeah, I can't tell what's coming out of these things. It looks like giant Swedish meatballs, but yeah. Okay. I love how it goes 60 FPS when you go inside a pipe. I mean, oh, it's Tweety Pie. What the? I'm guessing this is an actual boss fight. Oh, oh, okay. Don't you love how it goes to 60 frames per second when you, like, do the animation? Oh. Just, to, just for brevity's sake, I'm gonna try this again from here. Wait a minute. Uh. Uh.
Oh. It was that easy. <laughs> I don't know why I got my ass handed to me the first time around, but that wasn't too bad. This seems difficult. Like, it's random, but it's kind of difficult to line up for extra lives. One more level. We'll do one more of this. So yeah, I don't have much else to say other than it's, it's, a, it's an okay platformer. But yeah, I would rather just play Mario 3, to be honest. So this thing right here that I'm standing in front of reminds me of those, like, weird blue ball orb things from, like, Chemical Plant Zone in Sonic 2. to say here while I'm going through this. Come on. Ah, no. jump up onto the WB blocks, but you don't need to. Okay. Am I really not going to get extra lives from this? Yeah, it's kind of dumb, to be honest. The Mario 2 uh, slot machine bonus minigame is much better. Because at least if you spam the button, there's a pretty decent chance you'll at least get a couple extra lives out of it. I'm gonna do this one last level because I want to get to another actual boss fight and not Daffy Duck. Oh. Oh, so that's a fun mechanic, the platforms disappearing as soon as you land on them. So you have to, like, jump again to, like, make sure you don't fall. So why are we attacking, I don't know, cereal boxes that have got the letter S on them? Like, what's that about? think I can get down there. Yeah, that seems impossible. Yeah, I'm just going to try and finish the level then, I guess. Yeah, this is a very, very generic platformer. Okay, so it's Wily Coyote's tongue. Oh. Get fucked, Wily. I don't know why they have such beef with him because it's his birthday. I mean, that's kind of a dickish thing to do, don't you think? Oh, we have a different minigame this time. 
Willy the we- <laughs> Willy the Weasel? Wait, that's trademarked? Wait, who's Willy the Weasel? Hang on. Looney Tunes Willy the Weasel. I don't know who that is. Let me see what they look like. Oh. Hang on a second. I'm going to show you who Willy the Weasel looks like. Save image. Okay, so two things to talk about with Willy the Weasel. First of all, uh, this is what he looks like. I don't know which Looney Tunes short this comes from. Secondly, this game misspelled him. Apparently it's spelled W-I-L-L-I-E. It doesn't end with Y. So, yeah. Fun fact for you there. So it's Whack-A-Mole. And at least I can get, you know... I can probably get extra lives here if I'm if I'm good enough. I guess you get an extra life for it every ten. Need more carrots. See you later. Oh, what the fuck! Right, well, I guess we'll just end on that note. No fucking warning whatsoever, just instant death if you're not quick. But yeah, I will say, it's an, it's not a terrible game, it's just a very, you know, bog-standard platformer. But again, there's worse out there, so... I don't know why there's an unlicensed version called Tiny Toon 4, but yeah. Alright, I think I've got time for maybe a couple more games here. Let's see, what else do we have? Pictionary, I think I've played this before. Is this the game that's got that amazing music by Tim Fallon? The game of video quick draw. Yes, this is Tim Fallon music. Right, listen. Banger incoming. Do I have a GIF that works with this? Guess this. Can I flip this thing around? I guess I could. No? There we go. Eh, well you get the idea. Alright, well, Pictionary. So, you'd think with music like that this would be the best thing ever. Uh, probably not, but it's kind of a neat little game. I'll show you how this works. So let's do regular game. Select number of teams, I'm playing by myself, thanks. Enter team name, ah. <laughs> okay, so if you try just doing that, it gives you like a random name, got it. So you go through like a board game thing, you take turns, and you have to like complete a series of mini games by... Like, you do mini games, like this one for example. And the idea is to uncover as much of that board over there as possible. And that board over there is a picture which you have to guess the answer to. You have to figure out, okay, that's a picture of, I don't know, a, a toilet or something. Oh. If you make a mistake like that, you get less time. Like, you get time deductions. Oh, 
out. That is a banana, I think. Also, check the cursor down here. Like, that's amazing. Uh, this is this is a little bit slippery. There's a little bit of, like, acceleration and deceleration with selecting your letters. Yes, there you go. So that was a picture of a banana. Press the A button. Ah, so now we get to roll the dice. One. And then we've got a different minigame. So the idea is you're supposed to play this with several players, but you can do it by yourself as well. And it's good for me so that I can give you guys an idea of how this works. So how does this work? Oh, I see. Right, I see now. So you stack boxes and you put them over there to reveal the picture. this concept. I think that's a book. Yeah, that's gotta be a book. What do you guys think? Four letter words. I'm gonna go with my initial instinct. I believe that's a picture of a book I'm looking at. There we go. Easy. Alright, let's roll the dice, see how many shots I go, how many moves. Five. One, two, three, four, and five. Yellow again. Okay, so I think the colour tiles determine what minigame you get. That's a hook. Kinda hard to tell, to be honest. Yep. Oh, it's a magnet. Okay, yeah, it's a magnet. Ooh. Again, this cursor thing is cool and all, but I hate how there's, like, momentum to it. It's kind of hard to explain unless you try it yourself. But basically, when I let go, it kind of, like, slows down. It doesn't stop immediately. So more than likely, you're going to, like, go over the letter that you try to stop on. I'll do two more. I'm not going to go through the whole boards. Alright, so we're on red now. Oh boy. <laughs> so we're rescuing- Oh, that's impossible. Oh! Yeah, this seems impossible to get everyone. Seems like we'll just have like two people dropping on opposite corners. No idea what I'm looking at yet. Hope I get a few more here so that I can figure this out. You guys may have to help me out with this one because I can't quite tell what it is yet. Oh, oh no. What is that? Is it a lighter? I think it's a lighter. I'm not really sure what that is. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the lighter on this one. Nice! Okay then, I was right. Let's do at least one more. I think I've got maybe two more here in me. Nope, we're gonna do this minigame again.
Fucking Tim Fallen, man, like, he's a legend. Like, the music he's composed for, like, the video games that he's worked on is, like, incredible. Like, Tim Fallen, for those who, do who don't know, is the guy who composed the music in Block. It's this game that I've talked multiple times about on stream before. But yeah, what you, what you guys should do after the stream is go on YouTube and search Tim Fallen Music. And there's like a video that just shows like every song that he's made for every game that he's worked on. And they're all really good songs to listen to. I've not even listened to the, like his entire like, you know, rap sheet, but I've listened to a good chunk of it. That's a flag. Alright, flag. Of course it would be the United States of America flag. Right, one more. I'm not going to do the whole board, but I'll do one more turn. Oh god, it's this minigame again. Lovely. Yeah, inevitable death. Sure, what that is yet? Oh boy! Not much could be, could have been done about that. Come on! I think that's a a telephone pole. Yeah, I think that's telephone pole. God, they don't give you a lot of time to type this out. Yeah, this is a neat little game. I kind of like this. I think it's like one of the more original NES games, honestly. Um, telephone P O L E. That was quite a good guess! How much of the board do I have left? You know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna go the extra mile. I'm gonna complete this board. We're almost there, actually, so maybe two or three more turns. I, I hate that. Motherfucker. Oh, you fuck! That's the worst. Not sure what that is yet. I can't really fully look at it right now because I'm trying to get as many of these as possible. Uh, I don't know what that is. It is an eight letter word. Is it battery? B A T T Batteries? Well, I don't know what it is, so I guess I'll just do that for now and hope that it fits and that it works. No, that's not gonna work. Fuck. I give up. What was it? Oh, you're not going to tell me what it was? Alright, fuck you then. Well, I guess we're stuck here till I can solve one. A very angular looking object, that one. <laughs> I would say this is probably the worst minigame. Oh, come on. How are you expected to get that? You d you're not. That's the answer. Okay, there we go. We've got quite a few. I think it's stairs or step. 
their way, maybe? Game's being very generous with the drops this time. Staircase? Step, step, hmm. I think it's staircase, maybe? Escalator. It's escalator. I think that's what fits it. Wait, no, it's not. Uh oh. Is it not? Hang on. No, I'm. I'm not. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't have enough time to type that in anyway. But that's not like there was too many letters there. I didn't know what it was telling me to like type in. Oh boy, time for this minigame again. I'll be glad to get away from this minigame. Oh, there we go. At least we get to listen to some Tim Fallen music while we're doing this. F? E? An arrow pointing to the left? What's it pointing at? I think it's just a left arrow. I don't think it's pointing to anything. Left. Okay then, so that's what it is. Oh, slow down, please. That's not left, that's 34. Anyways, give me a high number, please. Aw. What minigame is on green? Oh. Okay, that's weird. This reverse space invaders. Again, some bangers here with uh, Tim Fallen. Yeah, it's pretty much just space invaders, just in reverse. So, what is that I'm looking at? Uh, seems to be the side of a house. Um, cabin? Wait, no. Building? No. Garage? Yeah, it could be garage, actually. That could fit. Aw. Oh. Window? Wait, window? Uh oh. Oh! It's not window either, god damn it. I don't know what it was pointing at exactly. I'll take this minigame over the fucking, you know, fireman like trampoline thing. Not sure what I'm looking at yet. Oh, I see. Then we get a new wave. I like this mini game. This mini game's cool. Okay, it's heal. And not the kind of the heal you see at wrestling. You've played before. Right, give me a decent number, please. Oh, come on. I better not get a number one for the last few. That's gonna suck. At least we get this minigame again. Really? Uh, I 
don't know. What is that? Looks like an arrow pointing to like a a thing. Door? Yeah, I could try door. Nope. It's not door. Wood? I don't know. Let me try wood. Maybe it's like a plank of wood or something. Oh. Nope, not wood either. I give up. Not enough time to put in another guess anyway. Oh, we're back to this minigame. I like that sound effect. Looks like a flower, I think. So there. Oh! Is it a roller coaster? It's a loop? Let me try a loop. Yeah, it's a loop. Okay. Right, we're on the home stretch. Give me a good number, please. Three, one, two, three. So I need two or more to finish this bolt. Oh, not this minigame, fuck off. Awful, awful minigame. Like, I don't mind the concept, it's just the RNG aspect of this minigame that I really can't fucking stand. Because it'll usually put, like, people in the complete opposite side when, when you're, like, trying to get another person. So inevitably you're gonna make mistakes and it's through no fault of your own. No idea what I'm looking at quite yet. Oh. What is that? Not really sure what I'm looking at there. Hmm. Mountain? Let's give that a try. It looks like that could fit. Wait, not one. No, that's that's not gonna fit. Glacier. I think that's too many letters. Wait, no, it's not. Damn it, it's not glacier. Time's up, folks. Good guesses, by the way. Alright, here we go again. Oh, you motherfucker! In situations like that, I should just commit to one person and not try to save both. All too often do I end up losing both people in moments like that. At least I got one of them that time. That's a fork. Or a spork. Yeah, I think that's a fork. Yeah, it's fork. Alright, um... There's the F. Take the F. And K. Easy. Right, roll two or more, please. Ah! Oh. 
definitely going above and beyond sticking with this game. Well, at least we get this minigame. I would say this is the best minigame, just because it's simply a reverse, like, Space Invader. That is... Cockpit? I think it might be a cockpit of a plane. Wait. That wouldn't fit, no. I'm not really sure what that is. Any ideas? Yeah, that's a tricky one. Can't really tell what that is. Right, I'm gonna give up on this one. Let's go for another. Try another! That is a slice of cheese. Or a wedge of cheese, rather. It's like one of those cartoon cheeses. There we go. Right, so we're pretty much done now. Is there another board beyond this one? Oh, now I get six. <laughs> Oh, do I have to do this one more time? Alright! Ah, fuck. pointing at something, but I don't know what it's pointing at, like a small box? Any ideas for this one? Yeah, I, ca I can't think of anything. Yeah, I'm going to give up on this one. Nothing I can think of fits the six letters required for that, so I'm just going to move on. This one seems the easiest to get, like, you know, parts of the puzzle for. As long as you just do three. Oh. I think that's a cupcake. Yeah, it's a cupcake. So you can press start to basically, like, prematurely guess. Which, I'm glad they do that, because I've already pretty much figured it out at this point.
There we go. Congratulations to the empty heads, you're the best. I should do multiplayer of this with some some people sometime. That would be fun. I might look into doing that at some point. So yeah, it's just one board. It's basically the first person to the end of the board and gets the final puzzle wins. Oh boy, jam time! Again, Tim Fullen, man. Amazing music. Sorry, I just wanted to indulge there for a bit. Right, so I think that's a pretty good place to stop for tonight. I think I had, the, you know, my fill of fun with Pictionary. And I think that would be a good place to end Retro Roulette for now. As much as I want to continue doing this, I'm feeling a little bit tired. So I think we're going to hold on to Retro Roulette for the future once again. But I will try to do it again real soon. I mean, the end of the year is rapidly approaching, so maybe I'll do one for, like, going into New Year or something. Again, I tend not to do this segment very often, because it's, like, one of those things where it's, like, to me, it's, like, a special occasion thing. Like, it's more it's more fun if I wait a while and then do it again. But, yeah, there's a good chance, like, last year that I'll probably do it, like, at the end of December. Like, that would be kind of a good time to, like, do this again. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me go through all those games. It's been a blast. And uh, yeah, there will be more Retro Roulette NES games in the future.